Hey guys. Uh, I'm Jamila. And I'm Peter. And we're from Alora. We do meaningful jewelry that gives back. But we just wanted to say happy Earth Day. Yay. Yeah. Happy Earth Day. I think this is video number three. Right? No, no. It's video number four. Okay. Whatever. Well, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <no. laughs> um, so yeah, we do meaningful jewelry that gives back. But we also have a sustainability component within our jewelry line. So for example, the necklace that I'm wearing is recycled brass and recycled glass beads that are fair trade from Ghana. So sustainability is really important in our business and what we do. So in this video, we're gonna give you five tips on how you can be sustainable every single day and celebrate the earth. Exactly, you excited? <laughs> I'm excited. We are, it is one of my favorite days. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna go right into it. And number one, which is really important, is you ought to know your numbers. And what that means is you, got, you ought to know that the fashion industry is the second most wasteful industry in the world. Second only to, if you can guess, yeah, you did, the petroleum industry. Oil and gas. Oil and gas, there you go. And it weighs so over $15 billion worth of clothes produced every year, and 2.5 billion clothes worth of clothes end up in the landfills. That's just, yeah, that's just the tip of the iceberg of what those numbers look like. And you can only imagine well, how much, when that stuff ends up in the landfills, how much it goes, goes up to the atmosphere, how much carbon is wasted, what the footprints are. So really, really, really know your numbers. There's a lot of information out there, so arm yourself with that data. Exactly. So tip number two is to buy less but spend more. So bear with me here. So it's really important to spend your money on quality items that are going to last you a really long time. Classic pieces or a piece of jewelry that's going to last you a really long time that you know is stands up to the test of time. Instead of buying like five different shirts at $10.99, it's probably better for you to buy one really great $85 shirt that you know is going to last you a long time, that you know isn't going to go out of trend like next season, which are a lot of things that are available in the malls. So it's great to really find a brand that does really high quality that you know is going to last you a while because it's better for you, your pocketbook, and it's better for the environment. Exactly. And the second, I guess the third aspect yeah. of it is to spend, um, to buy quality or even use clothes. And what that means is, I'm sure we all know, you probably have your dad and mom, they have this dress that just will not die. You know, they want it for like 30, I don't know how Oh long my gosh, that's my mom. Yeah. That's my mom right there. She's like, I've had this before you were born. There we go. My mom's <laughs> the same thing. But we make fun of that. But the truth is, clothes are made to last. And in reality, now it's different. You know, we're like, you know, touch them a little bit. Now we have clothes, you put it in the wash, it just goes off. I have some sweaters that just shrink. You know, it's just, you can't even wear it after two wears. It's completely done. Um, so yeah, I really, really spend your time to buy quality items because those are things that are going to last a while. And, you know, you can hand over to your kids. I know Jamila is planning to hand over some of her shoes to her daughters and those shoes, her mom handed them over to her. So those are kind of things that are going to happen. Yeah, your kids may think you're like, oh my God, why are you doing this? But really spend, really get the quality stuff. And if you don't want to get the quality stuff, it's always important to get used clothing. We both spend a lot of time getting used clothing. This is used. Okay, so tip number four is to prioritize natural materials in the things that you buy. So things like, well, for fashion, things like cotton, wool, those kinds of things are a lot better than like rayon or polyester. Polyester is the worst ever and it like makes you sweat too so really prioritizing natural fibers that are sustainable something like bamboo is really great i have a lot of really great bamboo dresses and bamboo shirts that are made here in canada so prioritizing the natural materials and also prioritizing where the clothes are made so there are a lot of really great canadian brands that you can find that make their items here in canada with natural materials so yeah Make sure that you prioritize those sustainable choices. Absolutely, and that brings us to number five, which is probably, you know, save the save the best, best for last. last. There you go. Which is look at companies that have a traceable supply supply chain. And what that means is you want to know. It's not just enough to know that such and such a company makes the clothes, but you want to know where does clothes come from, who makes them, are these people well paid? Is it made in a sustainable way? Those are really important. And a lot of companies, where the materials come from. come from, exactly. And a lot of companies, 
Some companies don't have that. Some companies have exactly where that comes from. A great example is Patagonia, where you can find really that information mm -hmm. on our website, on our process. We tell you exactly what, how our stuff is made, where the beads come from, where our brass comes from. So really, really search that. That, that component so that's a big part of what makes a brand sustainable yeah and I mean it's almost impossible to have a 100% sustainable and ethical supply chain but if you can find a brand that's really trying to do their best then that's really the first step in revolutionizing the fashion industry exactly so yeah I think the most important thing is you got to try you mm -hmm. know you may not get a hundred percent but if you're trying and exactly. there are quite a few ones that we we, we think they're trying, like we said, like Patagonia, Jennifer Glasgow. Yeah, Jennifer Glasgow. This is just a few awesome. of the good ones, so. Yeah. yeah, so if you have any tips or if you have any, um, I don't know, ideas on how you can really be sustainable in your shopping and fashion choices, make sure you leave a comment below. We'll be looking at the comments and we'll add them to a blog post. So thanks for watching yeah. our video and we will see you on video number five. Okay, yeah, okay. you've got the numbers right. All right, happy Bye, day, guys. guys. Take care.